When somebody comes with a stroke to the hospital, do you know there's indication for DAP therapy? So whenever somebody comes with a TIA, you need to calculate two scores, ABCD squared score and an NIH stroke scale. If your ABCD squared score is greater than four and your NIH stroke scale is less than three or less than five, meaning it is a high risk TIA but a low risk stroke, then this patient will require DAP therapy for at least 21 days because 21 days is the highest risk of having a second event for a stroke. So for the first 21 days, you could either do aspirin and clopidogrel based on point and chance trials or you can do aspirin and ticagrelor based on the TAILS trial. Then when you had to drop to a single agent, which one is better? Clopidogrel is actually better than aspirin based on Capri trial. Aspirin plus dipyridamol combination is actually better than aspirin based on Esprit and ESPS2. What about clopidogrel versus aspirin plus dipyridamol? They are equal based on profess trial. You really don't need a neurology consultation to tell you that.